Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we explored the beautiful beaches of Guatemala, and we found plenty of fun, empty surf, warm water to play in, and some excellent free camping. Today, we are arriving at Lake Atitlan, a large blue lake nestled in the steep volcanic peaks of the Sierra Madre Mountains. Our first stop is the lakeside town of Panajachel, where we found a nice campground right on the lake. It's been 215 days of travel for us, or seven months exactly to this day. We are on Lake Atitalan at a campground called Bahina del Lago in Ciudad Panajacho. And we're gonna go to San Pedro on the other side of the lake to take some Spanish lessons, but it's really cold, so we're hiding in bed for the morning. Google Maps again and we went off beautiful pavement to end up on a really terrible rocky backcountry road and now Matt's trying to turn around and there's all these farmers they're staring at us like green goats. <laughs> Another overlander right there. Little rooftop tent. My head cruiser with a snorkel. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Marta. Marta? Mucho gusto. Amy. Mateo y Amy. Si. Mucho gusto, Mateo y Amy. Upon arriving at Corazon Maya Spanish School, we received a warm welcome and were shown our accommodations a two-story bungalow on the school grounds that would be perfect for us and the dog. We're going to leave our little bungalow here at the Corazon Maya school to head into town and get some money. So hopefully we can find an ATM that will actually work for us so that we can pay the school. It's going to cost us 1500 quetzales, which works out to about 200 bucks for seven nights stay in our little bungalow and five days of Spanish school for Matt and I, three hours every day. You gotta stay, buddy. Yeah. We found that Guatemala lives up to its reputation as a country in which it is particularly difficult to find a functioning ATM. Many small towns don't have them, half of them don't seem to accept foreign cards, and it's not unusual to find them out of cash. We were told that San Pedro only had two ATMs, so we were a bit nervous when the first one we found rejected our cards. We carried on and eventually found the other ATM and success. 
Did you get some money? We did. Sweet. Cashola. Here at our Corazon Maya school, they are offering like a little cooking class and an experience like an activity. So they've got some Jamaica juice and they're passing around, I think it's like a locally made liquor. We are still in San Pedro de la Laguna taking some Spanish lessons and we are enjoying them and they are very beneficial so we've decided to stay an additional week. The school had these little classrooms spread out on the property that were perfect for one-on-one -on -one lessons and our teachers did a great job of catering the lessons to meet our learning ability. When we weren't in class or studying, we like to explore the morning markets in town. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue, la casa de la bachata. La, 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 la casa del merengue. La, 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 y la casa de la bachata. in San Pedro. It's a, like a whole area where there's lots of hotels and restaurants that are and schools more suited towards the gringo. But we came down here because we were looking for a pharmacy uh, because Matt took all the Benadryl last the other night when he got stung by that scorpion. Uh, my lips are tingly and kind of going numb and my tongue starting to feel a little bit weird. They're having kind of a hard time talking. And it's so weird because in Mexico, you couldn't throw a rock without hitting a pharmacy. And here, we had a hard time. We found one, and they didn't even have any kind of good antihistamine. We randomly walked into a just like regular store selling kind of foods and stuff. And she ended up calling a pharmacy for us. And they're going to deliver the Benadryl. She actually found just like real Benadryl to that store and so we're gonna return in like 20 minutes and we're looking to get Matt's haircut so that's what we're gonna try to do with our 20 minutes maybe here beauty salon huh. hey Matt how you feel <laughs> How are you feeling? Feeling light. Yeah? Got some air between my ears there. Hey, don't go anywhere. Uh, over here. Here? Yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Feeling like party animals. So we had a really nice evening with the Overlanders that we met up with last night. We met them in Gringolandia for a couple of beers. So we're meeting up again, but we're meeting up kind of late, which worked out for us because we're leaving tomorrow. So we ended up like packing probably 80% of the truck um, beforehand. So we're ready to go. But this is late for us, guys. It's 7 p.m. and we're just headed out for dinner right now. Party animals. Do you feel like a party animal, Matt? It's kind of out of control. <laughs> well, we were on our way to Gringolandia to go have some dinner before we met up with our friends. But then 
we saw this little local stand here and they're just cooking up some fresh chicken and they have guacamole and tortillas and salsa and it looks really beautiful and it's like 15 quetzales for an order so we decided to just chill yeah so it looks good it gringolandia now We enjoyed our time in San Pedro, but after two weeks, our brains were saturated and we were ready to move on. The truck just needed an oil change before we set out on the long drive to Antigua. I purchased the oil and filter ahead of time to make sure that we had what we needed. This local guy with a shop was happy for the work and started draining the oil as soon as we pulled in. <laughs> Sometimes it seems a little silly to be filming something as routine or normal as an oil change. But then the guy rips his belt off to try to get the filter off and then breaks his belt and currently doesn't have anything to get the filter off of our truck. And then you're like, well, that's why I'm filming. <laughs> because even the smallest little things when you're traveling through some of these countries turns into shenanigans. Es que fíjate que no da vuelta. Sí. Eh, y no. Ya lo agarré. Pero está, está muy grande. Sí. After a fair bit of shenanigans and about an hour longer than expected, we finally got the filter off of the piece of rope for lack of a filter wrench and could finally finish the job. Yay, there it is! So I think he felt bad how the oil change went, so he started checking our tires and putting a little air in it, but the compressor went out. And it's now taking air out of our tires. Maybe we can just go get some pressure in our tires somewhere else? Yeah, there's gotta be somebody else with the compressor. I think we need to give this guy some money and get out of here. <laughs> Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we explore the vibrant city of Antigua and experience the plazas, food, markets, and nightlife of this unique city. Hey guys, if you liked that episode, please give it a thumbs up. And we'd like to give a super duper thumbs up to Burned Ruff, Alexandra Wesley Smith, Christine Crahan, and William Brown. Thank you guys so much for joining the Expedition Support Team over on Patreon. If anyone else would like to join us on Patreon, you can click right here to find out more information. As always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.